This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this News 4 update. I'm Claire Kellen. News 4 was on the scene of a shooting outside the Taco Bell in Belleville that happened overnight on West Main and South 59th Street. Police tell us shots were fired after a disturbance. One woman shot taken to the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. Our crew saw at least one person in handcuffs being taken into custody. St. Louis police have released surveillance images of two suspects wanted in a shootout at a Soulard gas station. This was late Tuesday night at the BP gas station at 7th and Russell. Police say two suspects tried to steal a victim's car. The suspects and the victim started shooting at one another. The victim shot in the ankle. Anyone who has any information is asked to call police. Chesterfield resident Cy Candula remains in federal custody today. He is accused of ramming a U-Haul into a security barrier near the White House. The 19-year-old Marquette High School grad appeared briefly in federal court. Yesterday, a judge read him his rights, informed him that he faces a maximum of 10 years in prison if convicted. His next court date is on Tuesday, May 30th. For a check of the forecast now, we send things to First Alert meteorologist Kristen Cornett. It is a beautiful day. We had a cold front come through. It's cooler. It's less humid. Mostly sunny skies this afternoon up to around 79 degrees this evening. I mentioned a nice evening for a stroll. I think I'm going to have to do that. It's just going to be too nice. Temperatures falling back through the 70s again. Humidity down. Winds not an issue. Just fantastic out there. Looking ahead tomorrow is actually cooler. We start the day at 52, so the drier air is still pushing in right now. So overnight, that's really going to allow those temperatures to drop. So around 52 tomorrow morning, 77 tomorrow afternoon, that's our last day of below average temperatures. We do start to warm up over the holiday weekend. We add a few degrees every single day, so above average temperatures through the holiday weekend with highs in the 80s, but no rain in the forecast, lots of sunshine, and the humidity stays at a nice, comfortable level. Beyond that, yeah, those temperatures just continue to climb. I think by Wednesday we start adding a little humidity back into the forecast and my only chance of rain and it's not even a good one comes next Thursday with about a 20% chance.